Bam, and welcome everybody. We're playing some tabs. It's a custom campaign, and this one is called Josh the Angori Halfling. Help Josh the brave little halfling find his way back home so he can have second breakfast. Mount Doom. Josh the Halfling did it. Huzzah! He destroyed the evil and legally distinct one ring in the caves of Mount Doom. But what is that? The eagles forgot to pick him up. And it looks like he has to fight his way out of this one. Gandalf's secret challenge, no giants. Okay. Gandalf? Oh no, look, we're like in the cave. Uh, okay, right. Here we have Josh. That is exactly how he looks. Oh, Josh wearing his collar like that. Man, he's fucking hench. I will fuck you up, mate. And we are up against a whole load of shield and spears and stuff like that. Um, I think this is going to straight up just be won by... So we can't have giants. Single pirate queen? Can a single pirate queen do this? I think the answer is... Maybe? I think there's going to be good friendly fire from those rocks. She's not going to enjoy getting javelined. Okay, well, Josh the baby halfling is already dead. Oof. Uh, oh! Surprise bats! Okay, the bats. Uh, I mean... Uh, vampires. Actually kind of a bit annoying against the pirate queen. Oh my god. Oh my god, it did not work. Man, a giant would be amazing here. Fool of a took. Okay, no good. We're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be a bit like a bit sneakier here. Fight a bit dirtier. Because we need to get into those back lines and dodge that volley. How How's that gonna work out? My guess is badly. Okay, well that didn't look awful. Our boy is probably no, he's still alive. Berserkers, rally around your king! Save him! Okay, I feel like we have our own secret mission of if he survives, he is not he has not survived. I don't think. Okay, well the berserkers really cleaned that up. Can we find him? He is in there, but are his eyes open? My guess is that he is alive. Minus Morgul! Josh the Halfling managed to fight his way out, and he's escaped from Mount Doom. But what's this? Oh no! The only way out of Mordor is through the mountain pass of Minas Morgul, and it's blocked by one of the nine Nazgul and his spooky minions. Gandalf's secret challenge. May the light guide you. Have one healer for every three other units you deploy. Okay, that sounds fine. Okay, here we go. Right, I want I want a black beard. Hopefully he's gonna leap and end up over there to try and take out some archers. Uh, they didn't say no giants, and Giants are pretty, pretty good. Let me just like load up on healers. How does that sound? They are all gonna get murdered by death, but I think it could be okay. Okay, right. Ooh, right. A lot of the skelly bones are already dead. The healers are now being murdered. Not super chill. Oh god, and we're getting shot a lot. God knows what happened to Blackbeard. Did he just fall to his death? I'm gonna guess... Maybe. Oh no! Blackbeard lives! Can the giant... Oh no, he's been distracted. Okay, he's good. Can he charge the gun line? Ah, uh, he's doing pretty well. Ooh, not amazingly. Okay, that was the hit. Oh! And Blackbeard just comes in and kicks him. He kicked him in the foot. That's a good kick. Good job, Blackbeard. You saved Josh. Fungal Forest. Josh the Halfling has to make his way through the dangerous forest of Fungal. And the safest way to do that leads you past Bjorn's old castle. And he seems very angry about you trespassing on his land. Gundolf secret. You can only use units that have either an axe or a made of wood or carry something wooden. You are in a forest after all. Is that not gonna upset the, uh, you know, the Ents? Or like arrows, are they made of wood? That looks like wood. Does that count? Just like two Artemises. How quickly do they pull apart one of these giants? I'm worried that a lot of shots are gonna hit the trees. Oh man, that like block of infantry is kind of terrifying. And with like a giant defending them. Who's in there? Okay, there is a Vlad. They've got like a lot of dudes. There's a lot of guys with shields as well, which I think is probably bad for business. 
Not terrible. You know what? Really not terrible. Vlad's coming in. They are really getting a bit too close. What we need is distractions. Oh my god, that was heartbreaking. Monks? That's kind of made of wood. Okay, so the dream is their forces get split up enough for all of our little wooden sticks to go and pierce the giants. Okay, the giants do kind of own the monks pretty, pretty heavily. Uh, but it looks like they've killed a lot of their own. I don't think the monks did all that damage. Oh, nice. Okay, the giant fell down, delaying his troops. Josh may have fallen, but the Artemis prevail. I'm pretty sure they prevail. The giant's getting very close. We got him, everybody. We got him. Uh, and I don't think I was cheating. That feels like a, a Gandalf victory. Oh, jeez, what is this? A nightmare or a vision. Josh and his fellowship set up camp just outside Fungor Forest when he fell into a deep slumber and had a terrible dream about facing his darkest fear, himself. Gandalf's secret challenge, you have to take control of Josh. So it's Josh versus the mirror fiend Josh. Surprise. Take control. Come on, we've got him, got him by the crotch. Classic Josh attack. Oh, okay. <gasps> Look at this! Oh, where did he go? I'm just like frantically clicking. I don't. Yeah, it did. Good job. The Bridge of Bruy. Uh, Josh the Halfling is almost home. But just as the fellowship was about to cross the bridge into the lovely town of Bruy, they get into the most unfortunate ambush between a group of Uruks, the angry townsfolk, the old miller, and the caravan from the east. Gandalf secret. Uh, everyone is a unique snowflake in the fellowship. Don't use any unit twice. Okay, that's easy. We've got 20,000 points. We just take like six different things. So is this the old miller with his gun? Okay, he's very cool. I guess these are the Uruks. The townsfolk, sure, a lot of jesters. God, there's scarecrows as well. Man, the caravan from the east. This is kind of like a pretty savage fight. So I think the trick is that we, we start out the fight here and let everyone else come to us. The Chuko News definitely bad to ignore. I think we just ignore the other fronts and let them come in because we've got to deal with those scarecrows like super fast. Does he pluck up monks? He doesn't, but he does fucking annihilate them. Sure, we, we just need to like deny the bridge as much as we can. What about a shelter up here? I just need like burst, burst damage. Uh, we need to kill people as quickly as possible. We could have a giant block the bridge for as long as possible. Get like a bomb cannon. They never fuck up. And can we get a cheerleader on the bomb cannon? Hello. Oh, bad form, Peter. Uh, just instantly, like, took out my boy. Okay, bomb cannon, not doing great. Cheerleader, watch out. Guard the bridge. Shit, maybe we even control this. Uh, okay, we're we're just giving minor assists. Ooh, you prick. Oh no. It's all on Giganto. Okay, this this plan's not working. Okay, this this plan isn't good. We need we need some like just melee melee toughness. Sure. Ooh, not a bad bomb. We are gonna man the cannons. Uh, and try and... Uh-oh, we're getting shot from the from behind. Okay, we, we had to take out that arty. Uh-oh. Let's just, like, thin out their hordes a little bit. Can we kill the cannons? Uh, I mean, we're the cannon. Suko News, get out of it. Okay, having, like, the fire support, very strong. Okay, we gotta artillery this. Blammo! Okay, job done. Too easy. Uh, potion, potion seller. He's even left. One more potion seller. That, oh God. We got the victory. Oh my God. I, I was gonna like restart it. Do you see how like quickly that like disappeared? The battle for the shear. Just did it. Home sweet home. But what's this? Oh shit, the bed. The shear is under attack. Surprise, surprise. Gandalf's secret. Uh, we are unprepared for this battle. We had no time to bring any artillery. Uh, right, we've got a lot of halflings. Feels, feels good. What about like a horde of jesters? When do we ever use jesters? Uh, also, I feel like a good like ranged posse would actually be pretty legit here. We've got to be careful of old catapult friend there. 
Well, I guess like, you know, a bow is like a very small piece of artillery. Okay, right, we've got a lot of units going on, so prepare for some lost frame rates. So actually, maybe we didn't need the vampires because there's a lot of halflings out there. We could have done this mainly with ranged. God, they're spooking the halflings with their spooky skelly men. Also, this is a reference to the, the scouring of the Shire, uh, where in the movies, there's only like a tiny little nod. I think Galadriel shows uh, the young Frodo boy what, what could happen uh, if they fail. And it's um, old Sharky and Worm attacking attacking the Shire. Very sad day. Um, I always kind of liked it. I thought it was like kind of a cool idea. Um, but it wasn't. It, it was like a weird extra bit on the book. Like they've solved the main mission and they come back and have like a very tiny little little ruckus. Uh, all the like sort of like wardens of the Shire. Oh my god, what happened to this poor poor halfling? Wow, he did not survive the scaring of the Shire. Oh my god, like those snakes not being helpful. He's in our, like, archer midst. Ooh. Oh, right between the eyes on that Minotaur. Whoever did that, excellent work. Very good, very strong. They really have to shoot that catapult and fast. It, does, it won't take, like, a lot of hits. Like, three or four arrows is enough. Oh, God, they are in so tightly packed. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You've come to scour the Shire again. Wow. Oh my god. Are we the chosen ones? Holy shit. That is just like when the, the siege of Minas Tirith and they use the trebuchet to launch the big rock at Gothmog, the leader of the Orc army, and uh, he just like steps to one side and spits. God, the little archer brigade. I really thought they were going to do better. But <laughs> they are dead. Right. Turns out... Not amazing. Jester's not super impressed with. What we need, and what they needed a lot of the time in The Lord of the Rings, was guns. Picture, like, any scene in Lord of the Rings, and how having loads of guns wouldn't have solved that problem. Battle of Helm's Deep. Holy shit, you know. Have yourself a, a minigun on the wall. That's the noise they make. Uh, blammo. Just instantly take out all of the, uh, all of those orcs. Blammo! Right. First volley. Oh shit, I forgot about snakes. Okay, that's bad. Uh, we've still got some guys with loaded guns. Good opening volleys, everyone. Very well done. Excellent work. Please try to ignore the snakes. I know they're scary. Take them down. They brought. They have a cave troll. Well, luckily, I have a musket. Blammer. <laughs> Sit down, troll. Yeah, like the Mines of Moria, you know, imagine you've got like a shotgun. Suddenly like going through those tunnels, not quite as scary. It's more like doom. Those muskets should not have like gone in so far. Oh, Minotaur, is he down? Very strong. Okay, we do have a bit of a, a, an old musket pile up. So I went for muskets because they have just much longer range and a bit more decisive on the damage. And they, they go through shields. Uh, Blammo. Blammo, come on. There's not not many left. Someone, someone take the shot. Very good. Uh, they still have death, and they still have a giant. Both of which kind of scary. Also, this catapult. Ooh, a little bit off to the side there, friend. Uh-oh, the sword's coming in. Oh, okay, luckily someone got him. And catapult did not aim super well. We had the high bounce again. Oh, can the giant even get through that hole? Okay, well, death is down. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. Oh, and look. Josh survived. With a sword buried in his chest. What the hell? Dude. Uh-oh. That is a big snake. They should have spiders this game. Where's old Shelob? Feels bad, but... Oh, God, he broke free. I didn't think he could. <laughs> Bam. Eat it, giant o. Victory! It is now time for Josh to say goodbye to Gundolf and his three halfling friends. But what is that? It's Angry Torm! And his sidekick, Bean the Nerd! And they've brought a still stupidly overpowered army. Gundolf's challenge. Gundolf has to survive. Which one is Gundolf? Is Gundolf the healer? I'm guessing so. <laughs> and there's Legolas 
and there's uh, Josh and his three friends. Does he even have three friends? Right, mate, that is it. You are heading for a smack bottom. This this feels really, really, really manageable. So let's go a bit wacky with this. Oh, Kev, they might get in and be enough of like a distraction. Like some are definitely gonna die in this horrific charge. Depends on who fires first. Ooh, a lot of the Cav died. We kind of overloaded this flank a bit too heavily. Oh no. Grandolf. Stay back. Okay. Maybe. Oh, that's bad. Shit, I think we could have won that one as well. Okay, take two. Actually, deploying them in like more ranks is definitely bad. Because then you get the over-penetration going on. Wait, are we allowed to control him? Because we, we could just go and hide. Just go and hide out in like a little hobbit hole somewhere. Ooh. Cav, working very well. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Gandalf! Please! Oh, he did it. The three halfling friends lived. Did Josh live? Yeah, all the halflings survived. Gandalf. Uh, everyone on the boat did. Man, just the rides of Rohan turned up and saved the day. Holy shit, it's like Pelennor Fields. We came in. Burr, burr, burr. Um, amazing. Turns out you can simply walk in and out of there. Campaign by Pascus Rex. Well, thank you very much, Pascus Rex. I love it. It was great. You followed the rules. Uh, great work. Goodbye, everybody. Hello there, it is me, Josh the Hobbit. I just want to say thank you for, to Tom for saving me in many different ways. I was going to die otherwise. Uh, if you don't want to die in horrific ways like that, then hit the like button. This has got a bit morbid very quickly. It's me, Josh the Hobbit. Okay, bye.